Interesting. The building is off limits. You have to use the staircase. Man, uh, shut up. I can toss you across. It doesn't matter. Just don't jump and need to recycle. I have a feeling I might fall through. The old man's waiting. So, it's true what they say. You do have some kind of defect. Only oh, defect is your face. Oh, it's good to see you, my boy. Leave us. I want to talk to him in private. You have to excuse me for not getting up. I'm in a rather unfortunate state. You did exceptional work at the bank. I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit. See, I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? Well, it could be an old fool's... Uh, yeah. I agree with all city <coughs> improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? A little bit. Uh. The only burden it causes is to criminal scum. I admire your confidence. The real reason I have summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems. Mm. It's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me. How are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me, is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. I will.
How about a little Superman action? Whee! Holy shit! What was that? <laughs> Not such a piece of junk out. I didn't expect that kind of reaction. <laughs> hey Murphy, are you done with the old man's tea party? Remember to get back in touch with your informer. See if he has any info that could get us back on the biker's lead. Spike is still out there. OCP wants to raise towers at Blast and Steel. Eh, go ahead. Just not where we live. Mm hmm. Hey man, no yakking on my tin, all right? What's over here? I'm sure I'm in the right place, but I can't see my FTO anywhere. Could I have his name, please? Over. Sure thing. It's Officer Rat. He should be in one of the dumpsters. That's the only place he belongs. You catch my drift. Over and out. Right. So much for my field training. Mm. Let me talk to this dude. Let me Officer talk to the Washington, kid. I will be your field trainer for today. Requesting readiness confirmation. Yeah, thanks for the offer, but maybe the others are right. I might not really be cut out for field work. If we live the way others want us to live, what kind of life would it be? Or rather, whose? You're right. I want to be my own man. Officer Washington reporting for field training. Good. You have your body armor on. Well done. What about the rest of your gear? Service pistol? Got it. Spare ammunition? Check. Duty light? Never part with it. Good job. Preparation is the most important. So is knowing your surroundings. Are you familiar with this area? Isn't this the part of the city where it gets really busy, like, all the time? Please! I think that answers my question. Please! I need your help! Set the radio to my channel and follow me. Roger that! An officer needs to be confident. Straight back, sturdy walk, together with a clear and unshaking voice. Officers, thank God you're here. I really need your help. What happened is... When responding to a request for aid, the first thing is to introduce yourself to the potential victim. Watch and learn. I am Officer Murphy. How do you do, madam? Well, to tell you the truth... The second thing is to reassure the victim of their safety. Madam, you do not need to be afraid anymore. We are here to help you. Yes, but it's not <laughs> about me. The third thing is... I'm quite familiar with the field training manual, so if you don't mind, I'll take over. Ma'am, could you please tell us what happened? It's my cat, Fortune. He's missing. Fortune is my biggest treasure. I can't lose him. Do you have any oh. idea where he might be? The only place I can think of is the basement. I've also heard some ruckus coming from downstairs today, but the lights aren't working, and my eyesight's not so good anymore. Is it okay for us to investigate the basement? Yes, it makes an excellent opportunity for low-light training. Let us proceed downstairs. Good luck down there. The cat has that name for a reason. He really brings fortune. So Turn don't you come back without on. him. Right. Duty light can be advantageous, but it can also be a liability. Keeping it close to you creates a clear target for the violators. It is good practice to hold the duty light away from your body. I don't remember reading that in the field manual. Did you get it from a different book? No, from experience.
clear. Clear. Hmm. Hey, I think I just saw the cat. You think I should try to remove these planks? Stand aside. Gosh, you are strong, ain't you? Let us get back on track. Sure thing. <laughs> What was that? Ah, hmm. oh, man, I walked into a mess. And now my shoes are covered in strawberry jam. When chasing mm -hmm. a suspect, do not rush head first. Take blind corners as wide as possible. Cuts down on being surprised. The fugitive has left the trail. This time pace yourself. Do not get out of breath during a foot pursuit. You will need stamina to engage the fugitive later. Oh, looks like he stopped by the spill paint can. Suspect might be intoxicated. I used to know these kids who gave their cat stomach medicine to make it loopy. Is there a moral to that story? Cats are susceptible to substance misuse. Shh. I heard something. I think it's coming from the piano. That cat must be hiding inside. Let me lure it out. Go ahead. There it is. It's escaping. Darn it. It went through here, but that's a very narrow passage. Let's try the door. Wow. It's locked, but I can try to squeeze through that gap. Step aside. Not allowing you to get. <clears throat> okay, so this is where he squeezed through. There's no nuke to be found in here. That's insane. No crime evidence, nothing. What was that? I'm afraid this time it's a one way street, Mr. Cat. But where are you hiding? <laughs> there he is. Oh, gosh, Fortune. You look a mess. You think he's all right? The cat is fine. You can take it back to its owner. I will clean up any remaining mess. Okay, see you soon. Hold on, y'all just shot an old man. Oh, shit. Loud and clear, what is your status? We've got a problem. I'm on the second floor and have a 
visual on multiple armed suspects entering our location. Most of them are heading your way, but I can hear some coming up the stairs. Do not engage yet. Got it. Officer Washington? Keep cool. I am coming up to have your back. Glad to hear that, sir. Hey, blind now? Oh. Get the fuck out of here, man. You think you can do We are Detroit. And you're dead. Get the fuck out of here. I don't think I can hold him off for much longer, sir. We're in, pig. Nowhere to hide now. Drop your guns. Oh, shit. He got... Oh. What is your status? I'm hit. Remain calm. I am here. That was tense. I need a breather. Officer Washington, your performance today was impressive. Thank you, sir. It means a lot coming from you. You will be fine. It is only a superficial wound. See? I told you that cat brings love. Isn't this just wonderful? I'll return to the streets. Let me move away before I get copyrighted. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty cool. They say that if Mills wins, we'll all get an apartment in Delta City. Screw that. I'm homeless by choice. A lot of them are. That's only because of how the system is. Whoa. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Nah, hmm. tell me. What's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it... I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mark. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything.
Any witnesses? Uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. <laughs> He's nosy. Maybe he could help. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gail. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Fair point. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think oh. Ben shop is the closest. I know who exactly that is. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? Sure. If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! What are you looking for? So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible, saints, uh, cosmos. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that, and it did. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director threw out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. Alex Murphy was given a second chance. But he... I mean, you really deserved it. Which is something I couldn't say about a lot of people. Anyway, I don't want to spoil the mood, but that's not the tape we're looking for. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Why is he in the comedy section? But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. Diamonds are made under great pressure. Wait. You think there's a diamond within me? Do you see my shine? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That was truly inspirational. But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Nothing in thriller or drama. Okay, how about you check in the sci-fi and action section? I'll have a look at horror. Flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. 
It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Recognizing beauty in something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. You know movies. There is value in that. Yep. There's nothing better than a good movie. But we're still missing our tape. Oh. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. They tend to become imitations of themselves. Hard to argue with that. There's been a lot of stinkers. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. Isn't that the tape we're looking for? Tape? What? What tape? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! Ooh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? <laughs> Damn, there's a whole lot of ya. Threw a grenade at me. I hear a bunch of movie puns, and then everyone starts shooting. It all happens so fast. Where is Pickles? He ran out the back door. Where will I find him? I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. I gladly take this. Got anything else for me? No? Alright. Damn, that is. that does suck. Dang, some of these VHSs is messed up now. I'm tired of that goddamn rock song. Ah. Yeah. Talk. Ah, 
I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You will need even more help for lying to me. Shit. I, I don't even know if you're joking or not. I, I fucked up. I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, diamonds are made under great pressure. I'm not a fucking diamond, okay? I'm a junkie. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I will leave the money with you, if you spend it wisely. Uh, that's cold-blooded, man. But... thanks anyway. You're my savior, Tim. But what do I do with the money that I'm not supposed to spend on drugs? Like... what's the point? Hello, Ben. It's been a minute since I've seen you. Ah, the best cop in the hood is back. Can I be of service? <laughs> I am here in regards to a fugitive. Oh, damn. What is wrong with this thing? I need to get that car down. Or God knows what might happen. Can you help me out with this? It's new and I don't know where I put the manual. I will use the valve. Go on, then. Let's see how it's done. I thought you knew how to bring that car down. Can't be that hard. It doesn't start. Pop the hood. So, do you know what the problem is? Like I gotta do something with this. The coil has been disconnected. That would explain the car not starting. Huh. Spark plugs are not the main culprit. There is no power. Boom, 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 boom. This is... Found two out of four. Battery is fine, stable, above 12 volts. That's one thing checked off then. I'm... Hmm. Are you serious, bro? I detected an electric current inside the cooling tank. I recommend grounding it to fix the problem, but I am sure... I'm guessing it's an easy fix. It 
it started. We're on the money. Well done, Robocop. You are one serious Swiss Army man. I am best at catching criminals. I should get back to it. You said earlier you were looking for someone. A biker. Have you repaired any motorcycles recently? As a matter of fact, I did. This big, chunky guy showed up. Bald head, big ears, and spiky beard. It wasn't well, really him. Cut me, but he paid cash in advance. So why would I refuse? Do you know the whereabouts of this individual? I don't. But he asked me if I do paint jobs too. Then showed me a ripped out page that had a tattoo design on it. He asked me to spray a mean looking bird onto his gas tank. That's him. What was the design you sprayed onto his motorcycle? It was some sort of bird, but I'm, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a botanist, but it had a bald head. Why do you think the design was intended for a tattoo? The page he handed me had other graphics, which were clearly tattoo designs. And, as far as I remember, it had the address of a tattoo parlor that's close by printed on the bottom of the page. Thank you for the information. Proceeding to the tattoo parlor. Uh -oh. Full metal armor and you still want piercings. Hey, respect. I am not here for that. A tattoo then. It'll really bring out that jawline. How about I bring out your jawline? Hey man, no pressure. I was just trying to be helpful. Anyway, if you're not here for inking, what do you want? A biker called Spike. I heard he was your customer. I don't serve no bikers. Don't know who told you that, but it's a load of bull. Are you denying making tattoos for the street vultures? <laughs> You've got no proof, cop. Now stay off my case. I need to get back to my work. This dude's lying to me. What next? You gonna try to tell me that I'm smuggling nuke in a red inker? Do you? You still here? I don't want my customers to confuse my parlor for an auto shop. Hmm. I found evidence of your connections to the biker gang. Nah, uh, I'm not telling you nothing, cop. Spike and what is left of the street vultures are going down. It is your choice if you want to join them. Ah, oh, fuck. I told him not to come in here when he was so hot. He brought this on himself. Where is he? Uh, he's got a place nearby somewhere, but I don't know where exactly. I am afraid this information is too vague. His motorcycle must be parked outside. It's some sort of chopper. I don't know. You can check the plate number on that photo. Wise choice for a scum artist. Oh. <laughs> I can't concentrate with all those reflections bouncing off your armor. Hey, Robocop. Mr. Mills would like to have a word. He's waiting in the car. Come on, come on. It is an honor to finally meet the hero of the city in person. It's a shame that our basketball team can't fill us with similar pride. Yeah, just lost to Atlanta. Some say it's because well, of the drag. team players. Do you think it's I mean, need I even second real life? Being a team player? Cooperation among police officers helps increase efficiency. And not just among police officers. I'm glad you look at it that way. As for me, I have always valued team play. That was the way things were when my parents worked for the city. My grandfather, 
used to tell me that this neighborhood was a great place for an evening stroll. Now it's different. Kuzak allows the city to be taken over by criminals. He can't stop it because he's not a team player. He fails to realize that OCP has given this city its most precious treasure. You. I want to work with you and OCP to improve this city. I want to take care of your interests. It's about time someone did. But to make it a reality, we would need your support. So, what do you think about getting involved in politics? I don't know. I stay far away from politics. However, politics does not stay away from you, does it? You are the symbol of the city. Everything you do, everything you say... Uh, most politicians just suck No matter ass. if you talk privately or publicly, you should choose what you want to represent. Incompetence and unaccountability or partnership and determination. Only one of these paths leads Detroit to its former glory. You say you value team play. Together, let's form a team for the good of this city. We have a common goal. Together, it will be easier to achieve it. Oh, you'll have to forgive me. We're already late for another meeting. Now think about what we've discussed. About what we could do for this city. Together, as a team. I count on your support. What happened? Can you believe this? A bunch of repeat offenders came up with a bright idea to storm the courthouse. For some reason, they think that if they destroy it, their prior convictions will go away. They took hostages and are now demanding both a 6,000 SUX and a plane to Acapulco. Acapulco is a war zone. I don't think these guys follow the news. But I'm afraid that it may be too late to rescue the hostages if we wait for SWAT. If they want to fly into a war zone, I have first-class tickets for them. <laughs> you think you can take us? Of course. Of course. Of course. You didn't die off that, man. Let's see if I can throw it towards you. Nope. <laughs> I missed.
start shooting their heads off, they don't meet our demands soon. Who? Hostages? The police? That's the problem, man. Wait, I'm so damn confused. <laughs> and it's pointing right here. But I don't see shit. Yeah, I don't see shit, bro. will come to question you god damn it bro they should not be taking that many bullets i'm sorry that's one of the flaws of this game these dudes take too damn much bullets they take too much bullets too much bullets too much bullets bully 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 hey robo you showed them it was a pleasure to work with you uh, yeah, I just didn't rescue uh, all of them. With it. With the ego, let's go. This is it. First of all, what do you guys got in here? I'm so glad you're here. I can deal with screams and fights, but this music is driving me crazy. <laughs> I do not blame you. I hate this kind of music. Like, this kind of music is ass. And it's the same rock song over and over. And it's the kind of rock 
music I don't like is screaming. That was actually pretty cool to see in first person. Just making sure I can collect every kind of evidence that's in your apartment. Then I'll help you out. Where's your uh, radio at? Thank you. Shit's trash. What did Wendell make you do? You saw it yourself. He needed us to extract brains from corpses. Most of my men didn't have the stomach for it. Why brains? He would never say. Wendell keeps his cards close to his chest. He's trying to create another me. When? Now? Uh, my bed would be in front of a screen, wherever that fucking signal is supposed to reach. He was actually very successful if you watch RoboCop 2. He's always so I put this RoboCop 2. Operator, requesting an ambulance. Skin on. Unconscious fugitive suffering heavy blood loss. What am I supposed to do to determine this? Oh. Operator, Wendell's trail leads to the outskirts west of town, continuing pursuit. that. 